Can y'all hear me? Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, new computer, you guys. Hey, all good. Um, how are you doing I, I today? Like, I like getting that stuff. I like getting that done. I actually uh, <laughs> went through the preferences and kind of was proud of myself a little bit. <laughs> well, we appreciate you taking the time, Coach. Um, just over the last two seasons, this team has been close James, to just... you're going to go ahead. Oh. <laughs> All good? There's also like six other techniques. Yep, here. go ahead, James. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks, for, thanks for your patience, James Lloyd. Um, <laughs> Coach, uh, just over the past two seasons, uh, this team has been close to getting out of the first two rounds of the playoffs, just in 2019 being battle-tested, and then last year, I mean, injuries got in the way. But now that you are, like, this team is relatively healthy and um, you have playoff experience, just how are you feeling about this team taking that next step to potentially reach the semifinals? No, I just try to stay in the moment. Uh, right now, we're not playing great. Um, so we're staying in the moment. I, I hope hopefully that experience will shine itself through um, in, in the practices that are coming up here and in, in the next couple of games. But um we have to play better, and I think we have to play with a more uh, spirited energy. Um, and um, we, just, we just have to find that. Uh, we have experienced players that, you know, have won, and, you know, and, and so we, we need those experienced players to lead, lead us. Yeah. I mean, how the last couple of practices have been just in terms, I mean, I don't know how you necessarily work on energy, but that's why you're the head coach and I'm not, you know. So, I mean, how do you uh, – I mean, how has practice been in terms of just focusing on that area? Uh, I mean, it's it, our practices have been spirited. I'll, I'll say that. So, um, I mean, it's it's uh, we we'll, we we still have a ways to go if we're talking about getting to to be the team that we want to be. Thanks, Coach. Next question from Annie Costable. Hey, James. Um, each playoff year you know obviously since you've been here has been defined so differently 2019 you win coach of the year 2020 is the pandemic season and it's marked by so many other incredible moments um and now this year again you guys aren't a team that's motivated by expectation but you sign candace parker and um go through challenges throughout the year how have each defining moment um, in your guys' playoff experience up until this point helped you or will help you in this specific moment? I think you just take from, you know, what, what the, you know, what, what defines, you know, you winning and losing games. And so, you know, we know issues that we had with in, in, you know, 2019 in that playoff game. And we know the issues that we had last year as far as, you know, uh, being challenged on, on being challenged, um, rebounding wise. And, and so, you know, we, 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 hopefully we've corrected that and, uh, we want to take it on. We want to compete with that, like with those challenges that we face and just attack them head on. That's the team that we have to be like, we can't hide from it. So, um, that's things that we focused on and, um, in order to be a great team, that's the things that we're going to have to accomplish. And then you talked about veteran leadership, um, helping this team through this moment and you know two players who were with the sky when they made their finals appearance in 2014 are obviously Slute and Quigley and mm -hmm. then um Candace has obviously has experience winning a championship so how are you seeing them insert their knowledge in these in these moments into um the team now um uh, I mean it's it everything is with their actions Okay. Um, so, you know, every, you know, you just seen it a lot with their actions. Okay. Thanks, James. Thanks. Next question from Eric Wilson. Coach, good afternoon. I uh, wanted to ask you, thank you, sir. I wanted to ask you about the team itself and the pridefulness that you spoke of when last we spoke. Mm -hmm. Over the last couple of days and practices, has this team looked like a prideful team ready for not only these last two games, but the postseason? Uh, we have to get better. And so that's what we're trying to do. Um, 
I, I mean, I'm not going to be so satisfied until I can see how it translates to, to the game, you know. So uh, we have to get better. And that's what we're working on right now. And speaking of that, with your last game against the Mystics, you've gone back and you've watched the tape. Mm -hmm. Can you at least give us one aspect of the game that you focused on these last few practices? Um, I think the communication um, uh, was 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 not great. And um, the way we started the game and, and the way we started the second half wasn't great. So our energy wasn't where it needed to be to compete. Like you have to have a certain energy to compete where, you know, now we're down, you know, now we're playoffs. So t teams are like really honed in and focused and locked in. And when you play against a team that's motivated, like that's fighting for their lives, you have to match that. Like you really have to match that because uh, we're fighting for our life too. You know, and, and even though we're qualified for the playoffs, you're gonna you're only gonna play as good as you are at that moment. Uh, it's not like you it's a switch that you can turn on. Uh, so our, our communication has to be more urgent. Uh, our excitement to play the game has to be more urgent, and uh, our our ability to bounce back it has to be more urgent as well. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Next question from Caroline Peck. Hey, James, <clears throat> excuse me. How you doing? Uh, good. And it is Carolyn Peck, not Caroline. I know. But... <laughs> I, I want I to, <laughs> hey, hey, we got to get that right, man. Like, Carolyn is the this is, is the name you got to, plus it's my mom's name. So we got to remember that. And you, you've done a lot for our game. So I, I don't want you to come over here and be a Caroline. So you're, you're always Caroline. <laughs> you're maybe I, not I apologize. Right. It might be my Wisconsin accent as well. That's that might be is. coming off a little strong. That's what it That's is. That's okay. Right. And Carolyn, you might not be the first Carolyn for me, but you're you're in my top five. So I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. uh, and focusing on the game on Thursday for the Aces, uh, there was a big difference between the first game and the second game for you guys. What did you see as the biggest difference? Uh, you know, we 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 came out with a, a, a very like. Uh, I guess an energy with an attention to detail. Like it was really, we were really detailed and honed in and locked in and focused, uh, more focused than we were the first game, uh, consistently focused. Um, I, I'm not saying that we don't have, you know, focus uh, in, in, in pockets of the game, but our focus in, in that game was geared more toward the 40 minutes uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, execution and things like that, especially on the defensive end. And, and we were able to play with a pace on the offensive end that kind of mimicked what we want to do. And being able to free up Allie Quigley, uh, she wasn't as able to be as free in the first game. The second game, she got the shot she wanted. Did yeah. your offense change? Did you move her around differently? No, I think, you know, like if, I, if everybody's doing their job, then um, teams have to pick their poison. And maybe they thought that they did a good job on Allie, and they maybe did. Uh, but what that what that means is that other people are getting open. And so if other people are getting open, then they're scoring, and now they have to pay attention to those people. And then that's, that's what our teamwork has always been about. And I was telling our team that today that in the last 21 years, it's only been two teams with a 70%, you know, uh, assist rate. And, you know, that's how we play. And that was 2004 Indiana Fever and, and us, you know. And uh, that's the way we have to play. So those assists uh, are, are because Allie moves so much. And those assists are because Candace and, 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 uh, and Sloot, they, they find players because of the movement that we have. Or, you know, we have players diving. We have players running the floor. We have Kai and, and Diamond hitting lanes. And so it, 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 it takes a balance of everybody doing their jobs for us to get, for us to have a 70% uh, assist rate. And a lot of that is because of Allie's movement. Now, she might be the benefit beneficiary of some of that, and sometimes she may not be. Uh, but we think that we're talented enough where you have to pick your poison. And lastly for me, James, you just brought up an important fact. You refer back to the history of the game and knowing what teams that have been successful in the history. Uh, Tina Charles responded, re uh, when she reacted to getting uh, moving up in rebounding, she referred back to Rebecca Brunson. With this being the 25th anniversary, can you really talk to us about how important it is in order to reach success knowing the history of the game? I think you, I think you have to, like, understand uh, what goes into 
to winning and you have to be appreciative of everyone and everyone's role in the game. Um, and sometimes I think that gets put on a back burner because we're so in the moment and in the now uh, that people have to understand that it's been a lot of sacrifice that has went into this game. And so you owe, you owe it to the people that were here before you uh, to, you know, to give your, your all um, just from my experience, like, you know, I, I, I came in and league, you know, and this is just coming from a coach's uh, perspective. I came in the league uh, under Dan Hughes and he gave me an opportunity when he didn't have to. And um, I, I never worked in, in coaching or anything before I was only a player. And so I feel like I owe it to people like him uh, to, to give my all every day, every day, so I can carry the game forward. And, um, and, and so that's, that's what I take pride in. And so I'm going to uh, be a person that, that talks about chemistry, energy, and culture so much because that's what he, that's what he does. And you see uh, the culture that Minnesota has uh, because of Cheryl and how she's so stern with what she does. And, and so, you know, those are the coaches that I came up under and, and I just owe it to them to, to give my all every time too. And, and uh, just knowing the history of the game and how special this game has been and, and where it's going. Um, it, and so I'm going to expect that out of our players as well. Thank you. Awesome. Next question from Nove Wilkes. Hey, Coach Wade. Good afternoon. Hey, hey, how you doing? So, I'm doing good. The last time we spoke, you said um, about your team, <laughs> they have to play every game like is their last. Is that something you relay to the team this week? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, we have to have a, a sense of urgency. Uh, I, it feels sour every time you get, you know, um, if you go home early, it feels sour. Um, I've had the feeling of of uh, lifting up the trophy and how it felt, and um, it makes all the sacrifices worth it at the end, and that's what they have to understand. So sometimes, you, you know, even if you don't feel like you're at your best, uh, you have to find a way to push through. You have to find a way to push through. And my final question is, um, heading into the playoffs, I know sometimes Chicago is a team-oriented scoring team. But sometimes in the playoffs, every team has that go-to player to close out the games. And my question is, do you feel like uh, Candace Parker can be that player to get the ball in her hands and just let her go to work and close out these games for Chicago? Uh, she has been that player, so she's done it for us uh, this year. So I wouldn't doubt that she could do it in the playoffs. Thank you. There are no further questions for James. James, appreciate your time. Everyone, please reach out to Kelly with individual player requests, and we will all talk to you very soon. Thanks, guys. Your battery's about to go dead, Kelly. New computer, no battery. Uh.